Welcome to the Love Jump Show. We gon' talk to Mish, get into it, so make sure you stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wow. Hey, love bugs. <laughs> I hope you're having a good morning, new night. Whenever this video may reach you, do your girl a favor, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get that thing, thing, thing whenever I upload a new video. So today, 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 we're going to be talking about this clip that I saw, right? Because you know I be on these internet streets lurking sometimes. And I've been watching um, some DDG content for Vlogmas. And I saw a video that he posted where his brother doug oh first of all his little nephew who up is so cute and he's so talented he's a mess sometimes but i love that little kid he sung a cute little song while his mother got down on one knee and she um watched this and we're gonna come back to discuss we'll right hey man do you do you accept this woman as your wife yeah Will you marry me? Okay. I'm not gonna be embarrassed. Just say yes or no. Oh no. <laughs> so why are you sticking your hand out? Because I want to lift you back up. I'm a honey. So you're gonna embarrass me. <laughs> 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 he said it me. So you're gonna say no. You literally been hinting all week, right, Valentine? What? Did you want somebody to propose? Hey, what's up? So y'all saw that video that I just saw showed y'all. I know that there's some people that's gonna be like oh it was just a prank oh it's not that serious i don't give a but if it was a prank or not this is how we are being perceived in reality some people cannot tell the difference between faux and real okay and then you got a little impressionable little kid that's watching this kids are extremely they're sponges so they soak up everything he might grow up to feel like a woman is supposed to propose to him because he saw his mother do it whether it was a prank or not and the core audience that watches that content is young people. A woman with melanin on the floor in front of a man being rejected that she has already given her womb to. It is just not palatable and it does not sit right with me. Like marriage is just a piece of paper and it's also, you know, not just a piece of paper. Let me, let me restructure what I'm about to say. Marriage does not hold more weight than having a child with someone. And I feel like we've been conditioned in society to believe that once you're married, then you have that person forever and you have security forever. That's absolutely not true. Because you could still, in the words of Cynthia G, be a single, uh, uh, a single mother, a single married mother, and you could get divorced just as quickly as you got married. So it does not guarantee that you're going to be with that person forever. However, you will be tethered to that person forever because y'all got a child. You will forever have to see that person every year of your life on birthdays. And it does not just end once the child is of age because guess what? There's college graduations, there's weddings, there's baby showers. And then when you two share a grandchild, that's a whole nother 18 years worth of birthdays that you have to see this person for. So for a woman to be kneeling before a man, it's just, it doesn't sit right with me. Like women choose her, her man, her boyfriend, because women have more options than men when it comes to the dating pool. Like, let's just keep it funky. Men love to sweat at their the prize, but they do not have as many options as us. Period, sis. A man cannot go outside as much as a woman could and just get hit on a 100,000 times. Like, and I, me, when I walk out the door, are y'all kidding me? And I be looking crazy going to the store. I don't be all dolled up like this. Sis don't be having on no makeup. Sis don't even be having her lace front on. And I still pull mad niggas. On the internet, once again, I might even... Baby, no, come on, boo. I'm trying to do a video. What you want? Stop. See, even my cat is obsessed. <laughs> So, like I'm saying, women have more options, especially if you're attractive. And you don't even got to be that attractive. You still have more options than the average man. This is what they don't want you to know. That's why I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. But monogamy works more in the favor of the man and not the woman. Anyways. Women choose their, their man, their boyfriend, and men choose their wife. That's what I believe. I believe that... It is up to the man to, to choose a wife. It is up to the woman to choose suitable partners and suitable mates to possibly become a husband. My cat want to be... <laughs> Bambino, what are you doing? 
Maybe he liked this hair. I don't know what he's doing. It is kind of wet. He probably likes the texture. I don't like to see women that look like me on their knees in front of a man. Like, I just don't. I'm not into it. Like, it does us a disservice. We already have this um, stereotype that we strong and independent and we don't need no man for nothing. And, you know, we're masculine. And we already have that stereotype. And I just think images like this, videos like this, pranks, or whatever you want to call it, plays further into that narrative that we're like men. And, and that's absolutely not true. I'm sure this woman, Brittany, is what I believe her name is. I'm sure she's nurturing. I'm sure she's feminine. She seems to be a good mom. I don't know these people. I've just been watching Vlogmas just like everybody else on DDG's channel. But to see her on the floor and then for him to reject her after she's already given him her, her womb, it's just, it's, it's, it puts a nasty taste in my mouth. Like, I don't like that. And she's not the only one that I've seen doing this. I've seen multiple videos of women, of my likeness, of melanin women begging for niggas to marry them. And it's just not like, sis, it's not hitting for that. At the end of the day, your worth is not placed in a man. It's just not. You you could have a full life without being married. You could have a partnership. There's so many different ways to have companionship in this lifetime. Do not put your self-worth and your value on whether or not a man chooses you to be his wife. If that's what you want, then attune yourself to that. Vibrate on that level and attract that. There's, I'm not saying that marriage is a bad thing. I'm just saying that don't reduce yourself to being an absolute pick me just because you want to be married to one of these niggas. Since you got options. If you're cute, you got options. Don't let these niggas lie to you and talk about, oh, once you pass 25, don't nobody want that. That is a motherfucking lie because I am past 25. And baby, let me tell you, and I'm not just talking about niggas that want to fuck me because I'm a because I'm a sexy bad bitch. No, I'm talking about men that have actually proposed to me. Men of value, men that don't have no baggage, that ain't got a bunch of baby mamas running around. Do not let these men lie to you and tell you that you are not going to be desirable and you will no longer be valued. They are saying this because they don't want you to know that you have options and they want you to choose them or take their BS while they still outside running amok. I'm going to need Brittany to stand up and don't ever do this again. Don't, don't, don't prank out. Don't, don't, don't sacrifice your self image and your dignity and your, don't, don't do that for, for the, for the sake of a view. You're worth more than that, sis. Hold your head up. I love y'all. Spread love is the Brooklyn way. Be good. Get in the comment section. Sound up in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. I feel like I just said comment 20 times, but comment, comment, comment. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. Should women be proposing to men? Or is that just a man's job? I love y'all. Be good.